Hi, it's Michael from DNA here, and in the next few minutes you're going to learn about how you can manage index marks that you've made using an Olympus digital recorder, using the software that comes as standard with most Olympus recorders, Olympus Sonority. Now what I'm going to show you in this video really makes sense of the index mark system that I showed you in earlier videos, and it's particularly useful for students who've got this technology in relation to a specific learning difference such as dyslexia because assuming you've done your filing correctly, as explained in the last video, you should now find it very easy to jump to whatever part of the lecture you feel you need to listen to. We've really reduced the amount of writing you needed to do in that lecture. Instead, you have an audio recording split up by the slides as they happened, which might be a lot easier for you than consulting written notes that you took in the lecture, if that isn't really a strategy that works for you. So the first thing to think about is how we view these index marks in Sonority and if I have my file selected here we should see the index marks which I made on the digital recorder earlier and if I click play we'll have a quick listen back to see what that sounds like. Hi it's Michael from DNA just checking my index marks are working index mark 1, index mark 2, index mark 3. Okay that appears to be working fine uh, one way that you can scoot through these different index marks is by using these controls, the double arrow with the line here, and there's an equivalent one at the other side. So I could scoot to index mark 2, and if I press play now, index mark 2, there we go. You can hear that the appropriate content is appearing at the right index mark. So imagine that these are slides. Now you've got a tool that you can use to scoot through to the specific slide that you want to find and listen to what's happening at that point. However, I personally think this isn't a great way to view index marks. It's a tiny little bit of space that you've got here. And if your lecture was two hours long and you took lots of index marks, it would just be a block of orange going across the bottom of this display here. So it can get quite busy and difficult to see where one index mark starts and the next one begins. I much prefer using this icon at the top. So it's this book with a little index mark in it. Uh, a quick way of remembering icons relating to index marks, anything with an orange triangle. To me, they look a bit like blocks of orange Toblerone, that chocolate bar. Uh, it's my favourite type of chocolate, so I find that quite easy to remember. Uh, and you can see you've got little orange triangles here on the bar as well. However, this is the control we're talking about. View all index marks, and if I click on that, I find this much easier. And think about what I've mentioned in some of the other videos as well. If you haven't actually got slides, and you're writing a numbered list to make sense of all your index marks, this looks much more like the piece of paper that you might use. And now it's very easy to just double click on the index mark that you want and you'll notice that the playhead has jumped straight to index mark 3 and if I press play now index mark 3 there we go index mark 3 so assuming you've pressed the index mark every time the slide has changed or you've made a written note with a number next to it that corresponds with the numbers that appear on the front of your DM670 recorder, you've now got a strategy that's going to make it very, very easy for you to find the bits of your lecture that you want to listen back to without having to skip through parts that aren't relevant.